recently read a news article that said as soon as next year, Facebook will have an algorithm that can predict when I'll die. That really freaked me out. I'm not ready to know that information, and how accurate could Facebook even be? I'm here today at the Lawn on D, a place that if you live in Boston, you may have taken a picture and posted on your social media account. And I'm here to talk with Elaine Ensoesi, a data surveillance expert at Boston University School of Public Health, to help me break this down and talk me off the cliff, basically. I'm freaked out. So can social media, such as Facebook, tell when we'll die? Yes and no. Really? Machine learning algorithms, when you give them a lot of data, they function by identifying patterns and then can predict patterns. So if you have sufficient data on lots of different people and Facebook knows when they died and what kinds of patterns were present in your data before they died, then they can use similar information to predict when other people who die will have similar patterns. What does my friend list on Facebook have to do with my likelihood to, to die? Research has shown that our networks have impact on the decisions we make, not just about you know, where to go out on Saturday night, but about our health as well, what we eat, how we think about food, how we think about physical activity. And so by looking at your network, they can get information about what are the kinds of decisions that you're likely to make. Now, I know you particularly are really interested in infectious diseases and how those spread. That's been a focal point over your career. What are some of the kind of social online inroads to that sort of data that you've been able to manipulate over the years? Social media data is one source, um, but we've also done work looking at other types of internet data. So we've looked at data from places like Yelp. People review restaurants and um, people can talk about food poisoning after eating at a restaurant and thinking that they got sick from that restaurant. They, they would write reviews about that restaurant and we can use that information in collaboration with health departments to do more targeted restaurant inspections, but also to do outbreak investigations as well. Now I know you have sort of a social justice interest in how social media is used and how social media data is used. Are there people who are being left out of the recipe just by looking at social media to kind of judge how America is doing in terms of its mental and physical health? Yes. Um, so one example would be someone who has multiple jobs, comes from a lower income community and does not have the time to be on social media they would not be captured on the platform. So if we're just using social media to make public health decisions, then we're leaving out those people who are not putting information on social media. Okay, so I have to ask you, if there was a button that you could click and Facebook would calculate when we'll die, would you recommend clicking that button? I wouldn't click on it. <laughs> I don't think I would either. <laughs> I don't 